Hey guys, my name is Alex and welcome to Dream Dimension TCG. So today I've got a few things to tell you guys, especially about the progress of the game and even this channel. Also in the background there's a recording of what's going to be at the end of every video, so you'll be able to see that. So what new information do I have? First of all, the obvious art progress. As you can see, the cleanup is underway. I've been working on it every day to make sure it gets done as soon as possible. So if all things go well, in a month or two I should have all cards done. I also increased the number of cards in the first set to 111 because I, I thought there were two factions that had not enough cards in them. Here are a few of the finished cards, tell me what you think of them, if they're good, bad, anything really. They will all follow this, this structure of having the character in the front with the abstract background, although there might be one or two or more uh, creatures, specifically creatures, that have a, a less abstract background. Like Cloud Rider, for example, he has the clouds behind him so to indicate he's in the sky. Of course, things might come up, so I'll try my best to get all of the art and drawings and all that done in time. I will also start streaming on Picato as well, mostly as a way to keep me focused and I'll also draw art for videos that require it. Also some cards will have different art than what was shown in the set progress video, like Greedy Gambler Veronica and Bloody Magdalene for example. I just wasn't happy with the poses and the design, so I redrew them until I was satisfied. In other news, the card template is updated, you probably noticed that when I showed the cards. Full with the shading and everything and I'm honestly quite glad with how it ended up. So I'm not going to be touching up the template anymore, except maybe the heart and the sword sizes or the design of those, if I feel necessary, but that's something minimal that's quite easy to change. I'm still trying to figure out how I want to make videos, so that's why they might seem a bit unorganized in terms of visuals and editing, but I'm getting there so bear with me until I've got it down to science, I think that's the expression. I do however have an idea of how I want to structure videos and the schedule I want to follow, and that's going to be explained better at the end of the video. First I just want to tell you guys everything that I have planned. In terms of playtesting, I'm nowhere near done, I'll be honest. I have been doing it for a while, but I still think I need more because I can think of a few combos that might break the game and I need to test those out. And on the other hand, there are cards that are probably overpowered or even underpowered and might require some tweaking. After doing all the cards, Playtesting will be my main focus though, and so there might not be many videos when I reach that point simply because updates on playtesting is something that I don't think there's any point in doing. But like I said, the end of the video or at the end of the whole talking, I'll tell you guys my, my planned schedule. The playtesting is being done on Untap. If you don't know that website, I'll leave it in the description. So not only can anyone give it a try, all working out the kinks and the problems that the game might have will also be easier. Do bear in mind though that the cards on there will always be in the sketched form and effects and stats might change as the testing progresses and I know for a fact that there are some cards where the wording is slightly different than what's on the final, uh, final product, final card. I'm also going to do some speed paints in the future, focusing more on certain events of the lore or creature interactions. Right now there are three main events in the lore, Creation, Great Tear and Dream War, which set one covers. For the first few drawings I want to make, they're going to be about the guardians of each faction and how they interact with others of the same faction. You know, just 
a little extra to give a bit more personality to each character. And speaking of lore events, I'm thinking of making lore videos explaining what's happening in the world of Dream Dimension and the backstory of each faction, so you learn more about them and why they exist. I'm also going to do some pack opening videos, nothing original, I know, I know. But I want to give my opinion on the games, especially the art, since that's kind of why I stare at cards and collect them in the first place. The lore videos might take a while to make though, since I want to use not only cards, but custom art for the videos, hence the streaming. And the pack opening videos will be spread out, I don't want to have that be a main part of the channel, and there are some games that will only come out halfway throughout the year. So to finish everything off, the way I want to schedule videos is the following. Speed paints, once every two weeks. Talking will only be about the drawing itself and my thought process throughout the, the piece and all that, specifically for the art. So if you only want to know about updates and other topics of the game, you don't have to watch these. Law videos will be once a month. Doing the art for them will take time, so I'm going to have to spread them out since I've got a game to finish first. Pack openings will be once every 5-6 months, so probably just 2 videos per year. Money is something I don't have plenty of, and like I said before, these videos aren't something I want to post very often so they don't clutter the channel and don't become a main thing. Updates. Well, these won't really follow a schedule, since one week I might have things to show and another I might not. However, I will try my best to keep you guys up to date with the development of the game. And lastly, streams. While not directly related to the channel, I want to stream at least twice a week, most likely it will be on Mondays and Wednesdays. And all the art I do there will be for the game, the Dream Dimension. And it will just be for a few hours, most likely 3 or 4 hours since that's the free time I have for streaming. So with that, I hope you guys enjoyed this little update video, like if you have, leave a comment with your thoughts on it. And I'll see you guys in the next video.